Hello everyone. It is January 27th, 2020, and this is the, I believe, first tech vlog for the year. So that's kind of cool. There's been a lot of things going on around here recently, a lot of little projects, and it's just all been coincidental, really. I've been pulling free things out of the trash that are just kind of interesting. So first one, I just finished making a video about it. Here's the 2006 Mac Pro. It's a Mac Pro 1 comma 1. Um, yeah, got it for free. I've had a bunch of these in the past year, over 2019, but I'd, I'd like to actually do something with one of them instead of just flipping it for 50 bucks. Uh, and I have some plans, so we'll see what happens with that, but the video that will go up in a little bit, uh, maybe a couple weeks actually, is just me firing it up, taking a look at it, talking about it, and that's about that. So if you got any ideas of what you might want me to do with the Mac Pro, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, what else we got? So, I, again, don't really know what you guys have seen yet, <laughs> but I'll talk about all of it anyway. Recently got an iMac G4 and another iSub 2000. That's the one I got. That's my old one. I think my old one might be dying, and I, I'm pretty sure it is, because... I thought initially the issue was the power supply, so I'm like, okay, well, I can't really get another power supply for it for any reasonable amount of money, so I made my own, and it works fine, but the iSub still has an issue. Using that new power supply on the other iSub here that I just got, no issues. And also the cable's in much nicer shape, I just realized that, it's not yellow at all. Huh. So, yeah, I'm gonna set that up with the iMac and just with iMac G3. I don't know if it'll work on the G4 and uh, play around with it a little bit. Now the iMac G4, I guess I can't really set it up and have it work because I broke it. And I'm a bit... I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> it's completely my fault, but I really... I should have known better. I should have not done that. So to make a very long story short, I was upgrading the hard drive because I was going to install multiple operating systems on it. I needed a bigger hard drive. Well, I had the iMac face down, this was, you know, 90 degrees, and I was taking it apart or putting it back together or something, and I was doing so on the edge of my desk, and because it's a circle, I let go of it for some reason to do something else, and it rolled a little bit off the edge of the table, and, well, I guess you won't be able to see it. It's, it's under the iMac, but it broke the TMDS connector. Uh, at the end and it didn't break in any sort of way I could figure out like I can't fix it because I don't know how I did a continuity test between the cable up in the back of the monitor and the uh, the cable that connects to the logic board and everything seems fine even if I wiggle it around so I, I don't know what to think but it is definitely a cable issue it's not the connector uh, the connector is fine. There's no issue there. It is the cable. I just can't figure out how to fix it. And I couldn't find one on eBay at all uh, for, I would assume, a reasonable price. If there were to be one, that wouldn't be a thing. So, yeah, kind of upset about that. This thing was... This, I was really excited to have this, actually, and it was working out pretty well. But I'll shelve that for another time. Um... Over here, the iMac G3, as I think I said, I was going to test out the iSub. I just uh, I put it up last night and never actually did anything with it, and I had to move it for the Mac Pro video. The Power Mac G5, that's a 2.7 gigahertz liquid-cooled G5 right there. Isn't that sweet? I had no idea it was liquid-cooled G5, and as I mentioned in the video, uh, I left it in my car all night. Well... I left it in my car all day, and right before I went to bed, I remembered I had it, so I brought it in, and didn't realize till the next day that it's a liquid-cooled iMac, so leaving it out in, like, 20 Fahrenheit weather is probably not the best idea. Yeah, so I posted that video. Nobody's really given me any suggestions as to what to do with it, but maybe I'll figure out something in the future. The Xserve, it's pretty much been sitting there. I... I installed a new hard drive in it. I haven't done anything else with it yet. I was hoping to do a video about it, but uh, the original hard drive that 
the operating system ran on was an 80 gig hard drive and I don't have any 80 gig SATA drives but I well I, I do I have a 74 gig SATA drive which is a 10k RPM drive so I'm curious if that's actually going to work in the XServe and if it does if we can install something to it and boot from it that would be pretty neat I'm thinking I might uh, I might install like 10.5 server on it if I can get it to boot not sure uh, but we'll see what happens when we get there here's a, another PC I picked up for free along with the iMac and everything uh, just a compact PC from about 2008 I refurbished it cleaned it up and it works perfectly fine it runs Windows 10 now it's just a nice little office PC and uh, I got it posted up for 20 bucks I think somebody's stopping by later today to pick it up so that's cool made 20 bucks on that I also made 20 bucks on the monitor that came with it so that uh, of course that's no longer here but the day after I made the video cleaned it up and set it all aside I had some friend of mine ask me if I uh, had a VGA monitor he could buy for 20 bucks doesn't matter the specs and I'm like well have I got a deal for you so that monitor went to him I'm glad that went to somebody who could actually use it and yeah that's that's cool so I made I will have made after today 40 bucks from a PC I picked up completely for free and just cleaned it up isn't that awesome um, as far as other things I mean it's the usual mess of stuff I still haven't put the Christmas tree away because I've been lazy it's just been sitting in a box yeah awesome stuff so I, I don't know what else to really talk about here um, I guess maybe I'll, I'll I'll ramble on a little bit about the channel since it's not strictly tech related so anybody who doesn't care about channel related stuff could click off now I suppose um, I've been trying to do a little bit of a different thing with the channel still you know very roughly edited basic edited maybe videos uh, with not a whole lot of effort put in that's that's what I like to do this isn't a production quality channel but I've been putting in a little more effort especially with actually doing any kind of editing ed edit editing I think I said that right on the videos so over the past year or maybe a little more than that two years most of the things that I post I've done no edit it on it's just been record one clip post it that we're good to go and I realize there's a lot of things that have come through here where I've tried to do that with that method of video which is just point the camera talk in one clip and then upload the video well that doesn't really work for a lot of things things that require a software install for example I'd have to stop the video then I'd have to splice it together again that was just too much work well I realize there's been a lot of things that came through here that I've just not said anything about and I like to share the things that come through here and I realized I gotta do at least a little bit of effort if if I want to show people things I gotta put in some amount of effort and uh, that's really what I've been kinda going for with the videos that have been posted so far and the videos that will likely go up later on another thing I've been doing is thumbnails this seems to be a pretty easy thing to do I don't know why I've never done it before but yeah I just open up GIMP the photo editor I take a screenshot from the video and I've got a template with title on it that I just type in a title and then I export the picture like it's it's really simple and it seems like it's been drawing in a little more viewership which as I think I've said before is never really what the channel has been for but again it's nice to have people looking at what you do and and have your even though it's limited effort video uh have that video get views and have people enjoy it you know it, it is satisfying even if it's not really what the channel's about so hope that makes sense uh yeah i guess that's about it so i got a bunch of videos that are gonna be posted i've edited them i just need to upload and schedule them maybe like a week apart so that 
not all of them get released at the same time. Um, yeah, so if you're watching this tech vlog, you see anything around here you maybe want a video on, let me know. I will... I have a lot more free time on my hands, uh, and I have since the beginning of the year, especially Monday and Friday. I've got them completely off. Today is Monday, so I can can do whatever I want, really. All right, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tech vlog. I believe it's the first one of the year, and stay tuned for many more and many more videos in the coming year.